Our first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Winters. Today was quiet, but we have some things highlighted now on your first alert as we have the first of two storm systems moving in as we head through the next 24 hours. First of all, take a look. We have rain highlighted. Some showers are likely for your Valentine's Day, starting off during the morning hours and continuing into the evening hours as well. They'll become, I think, a bit more scattered. There's the possibility also of maybe a rumble of thunder, but that would be isolated if it does occur. Wind really highlighted because we we have gusts greater than 40 miles an hour possible, especially tomorrow afternoon as that low pulls in and really tightens the pressure gradient across eastern Iowa. And with that, we'll see some strong winds on and off as we head through this entire week. So let's talk about the storm system moving in. Six o'clock tonight, it's quiet. Your evening, your Monday evening plans, no problems at all. In fact, we stay clear and slowly turn partly cloudy by the morning hours. But by 6 a.m., some of that rain starts to show up back across western Iowa, and then some of those scattered showers start to move in. There's your new picture again there are pockets that won't be seeing rain there were pockets that are but call it some scattered showers and the windier conditions start to develop as well those windy conditions stick with us during the evening hours notice we do have some scattered areas of showers with us even then a bit more scattered in the evening then that final batch of showers kind of rolls through the area as that low moves out but notice in eastern Iowa all in the form of green that means it stayed in the form of some rain not heavy totals by any means a tenth to maybe a quarter of an inch possible I think as the system moves through, but enough that there'll be some scattered showers out there. Tonight's forecast, 15 degrees is our normal low. We'll be near or above the freezing mark with partly cloudy skies, south winds at 5 to 15, and then tomorrow our zone cast calls for showers across the area at times. 46 in Monona, 49 in Hopkitten. As we looked at Waterloo, we're at 49, 46 degrees in Fayette with some strong southeast winds gusting greater than 40 in our central zone. We're up in the upper 40s and lower 50s. Lower 50s across the board with 52 in Iowa City tomorrow. Wednesday, the winds are strong. Thursday, the winds are strong. They do change direction a bit. Wednesday's a quiet day with that northwest wind, but then some northerly winds come in on Thursday, and that stronger northerly push of air brings down some colder weather with the second storm system that moves in. That will change as that low moves in. Notice we've got some snow that'll push across the area. That happens through the day on Thursday. After that, Friday looks quiet but cooler, and the potential for accumulating snow is with us right now. Too early with the track to tell exactly how much snow will fall. We'll be watching that. That's the one thing we're concentrating on right now in the TV9 Weather Lab. Have that snowfall forecast out sometime tomorrow. Valentine's Day, some showers, 49 degrees. 39 on Wednesday, we're quiet. 27 on Thursday, here comes the next batch of snow. On Friday, it's dry, so it really looks probably your Thursday morning commute right now could be most affected by that snow. And after that, it's quiet. That takes us right into the upcoming weekend as well with both Saturday and Sunday looking for highs back in the 40s. So we go down for a couple of days, we go up for a couple of days. That pattern really has been with us uh, for the past several months. What is it about Thursdays recently where this is just the day that we're going to start to just mess with the commute. Well, Thursday's okay. Then it isn't the weekend for people that have weekend plans. Yeah. So Mother Nature may be just saying, yeah, let's make it Thursday. Yeah. We do, though. We get in patterns She's like that. She's very wise. And it seems, <laughs> she is. You're talking about Nicole, of course. But it, it does. We seem to get in those patterns like that, and it will pick a day, and it happens, uh, you know, several weeks in a row. All right. Thanks, Joe. Mm -hmm. And you can watch.